I am Professor Satish Prakash Shukla. Welcome you all again to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about 20 new MCQs which are based on research aptitude in English. This is seventh video of research aptitude. Question number one hundred twenty-one to one hundred forty are discussed here with the answers. Let us start. Question number 121. Parametric test can be used if data are obtained in dash scale. Let us see the option interval or nominal. Number 2 interval or ordinal. Number 3 ratio or nominal. Number 4 interval or ratio. Friends, parametric test can be applied only if the data are obtained in interval or ratio scale. So option number 4 is correct. Question number 122. Obtain value of chi-square for responses given by the subjects to a particular statement is 35.41 and table value of chi-square for the same responses is 13.28. Which decisions should be taken for this statement? Observed value is 35.41 and table value required is 13.28 uh, for significant difference. Let us see the options. Significant difference among the opinions of subjects towards the statement is not seen. It is false because the obtained value is more than the table value. Number two, there is significant difference among the opinions of subjects towards the statement. It is true. Let us see other statements. Decision can not be taken because number of subjects is not given. Here number of subjects is not required if chi-square value is given there. Uh, number four, to take the decision, it is to be checked that the statement is positive or negative. It is also not to be checked for taking decision. The option number two is correct. If uh, required value is 13.28 uh, and observed value is 30.41, that is more than the required value. So there is significant difference among the opinions of subjects towards the statement. This type of the decision is taken. Option number two is correct. Question 123. Which of the following uh, which of the following tests should be used to analyze frequency based data statistically? Data are obtained in frequencies. Let us see. Chi square, analysis of variance, t test, analysis of covariance. Friends, if data are obtained in frequency, it means it is in nominal scale and in nominal scale. Analysis of variance, TTS and analysis of covariance cannot be used. So here the correct option is chi-square. Chi-square should be used to analyze the data which are obtained in frequencies. Nominal scale. For analysis of variance, T-test and analysis of variance, covariance, data must be obtained in interval ratio scale. <coughs> which of the following findings is written in a proper way. Let us see. There is difference between mental stress of the employees of government and private institutes, institutes. This is not a proper way of writing finding because here difference between mental stress. Difference is, should not be written. Uh, there is significant difference between mental stress of the employees of government and private institution, institutes. It is also not a proper way to write uh, Finding because significant and difference, both the words are used here. Employees of government and private institutes have similarity in terms of mental stress. This is true. This we can write. There is difference between scores of the employees of government and private issue in mental stress scale. It cannot be written because here also the difference is written. Uh, clear cut. Finding should be written in such a way that a layman can also understand what is the finding. So, option number <coughs> three is correct. Employees of government and private institutes have similarity in terms of mental stress. Question number 125. Which of the following cannot be included in byproduct of research? Let us see the option CI program developed by researcher. Ready-made test used for research, self-study material developed by researcher, a test standardized by researcher. Rest option number one, three, and four, whatever 
is given in these options uh, can be considered as the byproduct of the research but the option number two that shows that the rediment test used for research it cannot be a byproduct of the research because it is developed by somebody else so it is not a byproduct of research option number two is correct in terms of the question Question number 126. Implications of research should be written on the basis of. Implication of research should be written on the basis of hypothesis, objectives, sample, findings. Friends, the implications of research are always written on the basis of findings only. For each finding, we have to write the implication. Findings of research for generalization are derived on the basis of let us see hypothesis testing, size of sample, research tool, inductive thinking. Friends, the findings of research of generalize, for generalization are derived on the basis of hypothesis testing. Option number one is correct. Question number 128. Which are prevalent citation styles used in research reports? Style or styles used in research reports? Let us see APA, Chicago, Ghost, all. Friends, the correct option is all. All are different style of different styles of uh, writing citation in the research report. APA, we know that American Psychological Association, Chicago Style Guide for American English, also called CMA, CMOS, Chicago Manual of Style. Ghost is Russian government standard. Presentation of which of the following is not required in research report according to APA. What should not be mentioned in the research report? Not compulsory according to APA. And notes and footnote number one, bibliography number three, and notes and bibliography number four, bibliography and footnotes. Friends, APA says that uh, there is no need to write uh, end notes and footnotes in the research report. Instead of that, we have to write everything in the bibliography. So, option number one is correct. Question number 130. What is full form of DOI? Let us see the options. Digital object indicator. Dynamic object identifier. Dynamic object indicator. Digital object identifier friends doi is digital object identifier it is a string of numbers and letters and symbols that is given to the papers articles that is published uh, online uh, doi is a kind of uh, identity of the research article or paper that is presented online digital object identifier it is a group of numbers, letters, and symbols. Question number 131. In which of the following sequence number is not given to the reference according to APO? Uh, sequence number is not given. Let us see. Bibliography and not footnote both A and C. Friends, uh, according to APA, we should not give the sequence number to the references if those are written in bibliography so in bibliography there is no need to write sequence number of references so correct option is bibliography in end note and footnote we have to write the numbers <coughs> 132 which are the types of statistics let us see the options descriptive and inferential descriptive and critical Critical and inferential, descriptive and researchable. Friends, two types of the statistics are there generally which are used in uh, research. Descriptive and inferential, option number one is correct. Which type of measurement will it be called? If average income is calculated on the basis of census of Indian population, entire population, let us see. Estimate, number two, statistics, number three, statistic, number four, parameter. Friends, if the entire, all the units of entire population uh, are considered, 
for collecting data and on the basis of that if any statistical calculation is done then it is called parameter so it is parameter because census survey in india is done after every 10 years and in that the entire population the data of entire population of india is collected so it is parameter question number 134 which are the types of estimatic parameter on the basis of statistics number of point n linear number 2 point n interval number 3 interval n non linear number 4 point n non linear the question let us see again which are the types of estimating parameter on the basis of statistics friends we know that the statistical results found by using the data of sample is called statistics and on the basis of statistics the parameter is estimated and there are two ways of estimating parameter on the basis of statistics and those two are point and interval question 135 which properties do interval scale have which properties do interval scale have let us see similarity number 2 transitivity number 3 equal interval number 4 all friends all these three properties which are shown in option 1 2 3 are there in interval scale so option number 4 is correct all if you want to know more about this uh, property you have to see the video of scales of measurement which is available on this channel only question number 136 which of the following styles of writing heading of a table is correct heading of table how to write let us see information of intelligence quotient of the employees number 2 a table showing intelligence quotient number 3 intelligence quotient of the employees number 4 intelligence quotient so correct uh, method of writing heading is given in option number 3 intelligence quotient of the employees friends in the heading of table we should not write information a table showing and number 4 option is insufficient information is there in that heading intelligence quotient of whom so the correct uh, method of writing the heading of table is intelligence quotient of employees we don't have to write again information showing so and so a table showing so and so and uh, insufficient information should not be there in headings question number 136 which of the following ways of showing the amount in research report is correct amount in which way it is shown let us see option rupees 500 where symbol of rupees is used number 2 500 rupees number 3 500 rupees in wash and number 4 500 oblique and dash so correct way of writing the amount is given in option number 3 in research report we have to write amount in this way whether it will be rupees or dollar or pounds 138 how should a researcher present himself in a research report let us see in third person number 2 in first person number 3 in second person and number 4 in any way so correct option is in third person the researcher should present himself in a research report in third person option number 1 is correct question 139 what is real meaning of plagiary yes let us see to kidnap to steal to copy to plagiarism plagiarism the correct meaning of plagiarism is to kidnap plagiarism is uh, originated from the word plagiarism it means to kidnap Question number one forty: Who has the rights of solving problems 
experienced during the implementation of UGC regulations 2018. Friends, here you are going to remember that UGC regulations 2018 belong to plagiarism. If any problem will arise while implementing these regulations, then who has the rights of solving the problems? Let us see. Indian government, number two, Human Resource Development Ministry, number three, UGC, number four, NEC. The rights of solving problems in terms of the implementation of UGC regulations 2018 is with UGC, University Grants Commission. NEC is National Assessment Accredit and Accreditation Council. Friends, in this way here, Part 7 of Research Aptitude in English gets over. Part 8 will be presented soon. Till then, keep on studying uh, supplementary literature. Thank you. All the best.